In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how to beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden NFL 21, basically, or specifically press coverage if you're going up against press coverage uh, sets. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 21 through tips, through strategies, and tactics just like this one. And we upload four times a day here on YouTube, so make sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right hand of the screen. That way you can get access to all of the video content that we will be releasing. All right, guys, shotgun tray open. Basically what you're going to need, this is from the Arizona Cardinals offensive uh, playbook. And uh, you need a wide receiver that has like 90 deep route running or more um, to be ideal. But basically you want a good route running receiver running this route. For the Packers, we have Devontae Adams. But the play is stick out of the gun tray open. You see here has this nice little um, kind of stock fade on the right side. This is going to be an unbumpable route. So if he tries to press coverage, all you have to do is basically just high point, uh, high point and pass it, lead it to the outside uh, with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers. Because pass lead elite does have a little bit of a lower throwing trajectory. But what you'll see here is this will typically just destroy uh, the press band man coverage. It's also really, really good because it destroys cover two as well, which we'll show you in just a second. But you'll see um, as long as you don't get a high point inaccurate. And most of the time, guys, I will say um, in game, you're not going to get high point inaccurates as long as you wait for him to get about a couple yards down the field. Now, if he if you're just consistently getting high point inaccurates and, that, and you're getting that and that's okay, then all you're going to do is just pass lead it hard to the right once he gets the step on the corner. So once he gets about five to ten yards down the field, then you're just going to throw it um, with a hard pass lead to the right, up and to the right uh, pass lead here. But that's what you want to kind of avoid. If you throw it too late, you know, it is a little bit of a tight window. So just be just be careful. Go into practice mode, lab this up a little bit, and you'll be just fine. Um, but basically, once he gets out there, once, once his um, – once he gets about 10 yards down the road uh, or down the down the field, you're going to want to go ahead and just pass lead that to the right, click on. And one thing you do have to do is instead of swerve catching outside and up, you want to swerve catch inside and out. So basically you want to click onto the receiver and you're going to swerve catch him. You're going to take him inside right there just like that, and you're going to basically bring him back outside. Make sure you possession catch, don't aggressive catch. Um, that's a little bit of a bad habit that I have on this, but this route's really, really good. I find it to be really, really good against like bench press. Um, that, that, that to me is what this is built for. And if they press coverage and they take their safeties away, if there's no safety over the top, what you'll see is this is going to absolutely burn it over the top. Um, most of the time for a one play score, sometimes they'll get a shoestring tackle, but this is a really, really good route for that. What's also good about this play is if they run like cover two, You'll see that he is always going to get an outside release, so he's going to get that little wraparound animation on the outside. Click on, and you can typically one um, basically swerve catch that inside and out again, and you're going to see we're going to be able to go for a touchdown. So this is just a really good play against press coverage. I wanted to share it real quick. Now, if they um, shade coverage over top, it does stop this. So what you'll see here is I'm, I'm going to shade coverage over top, and what you'll see is um, it's just not the same. You're not able to get the separation that you want to be able to get from a press man situation. And so if that's the case, all you're going to do – they shade coverage over top. Your slant route is going to typically be open to Marquez about his scantling. So just throw that uh, consistently against the man-to-man um, -man coverage. So anyways, guys, that's a good way to beat press coverage. i got a couple more videos coming to you today. I apologize for getting these out a little bit too late today, a little bit later in the day. Um, but just a crazy day. Just want to get these videos out to you. Um, we got three more coming, and we'll also be streaming tonight. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. we got more stuff coming for you in just a few minutes.